It's crystal opening reaction time. Yes, we did a reaction yesterday. Well, we're kind of a live reaction, a kind of a, a tandem. We, we were with somebody for the, uh, the, the... Well, it didn't go to, according to plan, did it, with those six star featured. And there was an idea that I do a kind of a, a comparison type video with a good friend and alliance member, Richard Belding. And this is what we're going to be doing in this video. It's going to be comparing how well... Well, I, I don't think you can really kind of be fair. The idea was to test what one person got versus another, but I kind of feel it's kind of an unfair idea of a comparison because it didn't go well yesterday. Roll the clip of, a uh, quick clip of how well it went for poor Fiss. No. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, man. This is... Oh my word. Honestly, I don't know what to say. I can't believe how... I really can't believe this is how it's going. So if you saw that video, you know exactly what I mean. We, so we're just gonna do a reaction to Richards and kind of say it's probably gonna be a better than this by proxy. But in any case, just to let you know before we get into this, that this video is sponsored. It's summertime, so you know what that means. Shades on, bubble mode activated, and raid Shadow Legends. A game where the possibilities are endless from playing campaign, dungeons, Faction Wars, PvP, Arena Battling. Take that person I'll never meet ever in my life again. And don't forget Alliance-based participation in clan boss fights and more. There's also tons of playable champions from different types of factions, all with their own unique build to them. I mean, just look at Deliana there, just holding those two orbs floating above her hands. And you can pick up this game all in the power of your hands or on PC, just by doing the following. By going to the links in the description and downloading Raid for yourself, as well as the QR code, which is on screen now for mobile or PC. Now let's talk about the bosses of Raid, and in particular, Dragon Slayer. If you go to your dungeons, you'll see the dragon. You know him, you love him. It's Hellraiser the Dragon, the guy from the opening cutscene in Raid, an occupant of the Dragon's Lair dungeon. Let's talk about how you beat him. The Dragon's got two main tricks, terrible breath and a host of debuffs. It has a skill it will use every few turns where it rears up and prepares to breathe on you. When it does that, a chunk of its health bar will turn purple. Deal enough damage to remove the purple part of the health bar and it cancels the attack. Fail, and the next turn Hellraiser will deal super heavy damage and stun your whole team. He also puts out lots of decrease attack and poison debuffs with his other skills. Try bringing champions that can clear debuffs and put up shields if you want to try and tank Hellraiser's breath attack. Otherwise, bring heavy hitter champions that can rip away huge amounts of health in a very short time. You can also do heavy damage with HP burn and poison debuffs as Hellraiser has absolutely massive HP. From bosses to new updates, what is new with Raid? Well, they're bringing out five badass looking new champions, they're overhauling the champion vault, and they've got some awesome smaller updates coming soon. There's also going to be a huge series of Summer Splash events that will be running for the entirety of the month, where you can get your hands on incredible skins for everyone's favourite dwarf, Trundel Giltmallet. Oh, one more thing. We're going to roll a very special clip of something that players have asked for a very long time. Ultimate Death Knight. Make sure as well to check out the game in the links in the description down below. Or check out on, on screen the QR code, which is very important if you're a new player, as you'll receive a free starter pack worth almost $30, a free champion, Tayrell and all this cool in-game loot. Look at all that stuff, it's amazing. All those rewards can be found in your inbox for the next 30 days only. So thanks very much to Raid for sponsoring this video and with the cost of living crisis in the UK, it is very much appreciated that Raid is a constant supporter of this channel as well as you are as well. So here's 10 six star, basic six star crystals that I'm gonna be reacting to and seeing how well it goes. I gotta be honest, I think there must be something when it comes to people's luck. It's like people that were genuinely lucky, say before with previous openings, are kind of not getting as lucky when it comes to like, like when they're going for six stars. And that's the first one, Winter Soldier, six star for the first time. Second one, Superior Iron Man. Like this is not good in a scheme of things for Richard at this moment in time. But as I said, like I'm seeing a lot more people who were kind of like very lucky with the champions they're pulling, 
not get as lucky. And it does give me the, as I like to refer to it, heebie-jeebies. Colossus, you know, that's not too bad. Depends, on, does uh, Richard have this? First Time Awakening? No, 80 signatures, not too bad. I'm, re I'm I've recently started working with my Colossus 6-star to kind of uh, put it up a bit further, make it a rank 3 6-star version. Next up. Cut Obsidian, still a relevant champion in the current scheme of things, but I don't see it used as much, especially from a, a you know a normal rotation of team that people like to use. So that's um, a bit of an iffy one, but I'm sure that like you know there are players that uh, still enjoy the champion, still like the champion, still rotate and use it and all that stuff. Halfway through now with Pen yes, there we go. That's a decent pull, Penny Parker. But Richard already has Penny Parker uh, as a six star, bringing it up to. 128 signature levels. I've got. I think I've got an an awakened version of, uh, of of Penny Parker. I've definitely rank three or rank two or rank three that uh, particular one. Well, I do. Thing is, Arcus Vision Arcus is a champion that is used a lot by players. I just don't see it mentioned as much. It went through like a really kind of like high peak period of uh, usage, and I feel like I should do like a, a like a ranked. Thing about like champions that are used a lot within people's rosters because it is interesting to note that sometimes you know people kind of rave about a certain champion and it goes out of like a, a popularity type of um, situation with players where they don't use it black bolt just he just picked up then it's a bit of an iffy one to be honest Nova again a bit of an iffy one for players he is well liked by the player base but again it is down to uh, an iffy one of um of kind of like usage i really hope this kind of like something spicy penny parker was nice to see that that was but i i don't know like this is i know i will have to message richard to find out whether or not this has been oh symbiote super nice uh but i it looks like he has him and that's the thing with new champions didn't get to see the signature level there on that but uh as he does it's kind of like tch, tch, tch. that's kind of reminds me of like me doing my uh ab workout routine with the legs uh Done, kind of like some kind of rotation thing. And the final one, Sunspot, Superior Iron Man again. Man, I think this is like, there's just seems to be some sort of thing going on at the moment with this. And I, I just don't see like a huge amount of kind of like overly spicy champions there. And it's quick, that was, that was like a, there we go. So we just put it on the screen right now. So from those 10, like Symbiote Supreme, Nova. I mean, there's some good stuff there. But it is kind of like really kind of clutching straws here. For Penny Parker, yes, of course. Vision Arcus, slightly. Symbiote Supreme, of course. But new champions wise, two champions out of ten. And not exactly in the quintessential kind of like top tiers of people's interest. It's, uh, it's a bit of a bit of an iffy one for sure with this. And we got a secret little um, one shot beauty here for these six star featured. Especially with Fist's comparable luck with the 28 total getting two. And it uh, looks like it seems to be the case. Like I've I've seen less people getting some of the feature champions than I've seen people actually getting some of the uh, sub features seem to be the, the most kind of like pullable. I've seen people do about 19 and kind of like only getting, yeah, like razor thin. But then I've seen on the other the other side of things is people pulling with four four crystals getting two of the featured. So it's like okay, so I guess it's just down to bad RNG. And I guess one of these things where it is what it is. I think that's probably the main thing to say. It is uh what it is on it. And um Yeah. <laughs> Sad to see, but at the same time, it's RNG baby in it. So commiserations to Fist from yesterday because it was just it just felt so trollish with what happened to him, and Richard as well. Your opening and I don't know if I, I put in the comment section. Do you think this was a good opening with the champions that were picked up from you know the uh, the results? And would you be satisfied with the champions you picked up? And do you think the RNG that you may have like good luck? Are you going to bad luck at the moment? And people that have had bad luck, are you getting good luck? Interesting to find out where people are with their, their kind of luck at the moment in game. And yeah, that has been the video. Thank you very much for watching. 
And yeah, hit the like button, subscribe and all that stuff. I'll see you all in the next video whenever that will be and uh, check out some other stuff on screen. Do bear in mind by the end of the week, we're going to have some new update info and we're getting into the new month, a new update of uh, fun things coming towards the game. So look forward to that. Cheers, everybody. Have a good one. Thanks to Raid for sponsoring. Check out the link in the description and bye-bye for now.